what is going on in Greece? Or let's say something is going on in Greece, because if you look at the earthquake map, how this is chain, chained like a, like a chain of earthquakes and red dots. And what is there? We have Crete, but we have also some rumbling at Santorini again. So there's lots of underwater volcanoes. So where do these earthquakes coming from? And it's a lot of earthquakes. So they are, some are weak, but also to moderate size. And they are along the Hellenic art, basically off of Crete, but also near Santorini. And uh, the strongest magnitude that we've seen so far is around 3.9 at a depth of 30 kilometers west of Crete. The second strongest was close to that, magnitude 3.8 at a depth of 27 kilometers and was east of the island of Crete. So it seems that large sections of the subducted earth crust in the atenosphere have become entangled, building up pressure and tensions that could now be released in earthquakes. But that, is that the case? Let's have a quick look at what the geological setting is in this area and what we have to deal with and what volcanoes we have to deal with in this area. Because this is an active volcanic arc. Let's not forget that. Many people keep forgetting this. The Aegean Sea and its surrounding areas, even like the Balkan and the Western Turkey areas, are the most seismically active areas in the whole Mediterranean and in the whole West Eurasia. So the reason is why this area is among the most stressed part of the collision zone between the Eurasian and the African tectonic plates, right? That is, of course, building up stress in this, in this area. But the most prominent morphological features in this area from south to north are the Mediterranean Ridge or the Mediterranean Chain, the Hellenic Trench, the Hellenic Arc, and the northern Aegean Trough. So there's lots of things going on. And the island of Crete, where we have quite a few of these epicenters of the recent swarm, represents an uplifting sedimentary four arc zone that is located north of the subduction zone in the transition between the African and Eurasian plates. And then we have the Hellenic Arc, that parallels the subduction zone at a distance of roughly 100 miles, 120 kilometers to the north. And it contains several active volcanic centers, Mitana, Santorini, Nisiros, and the Bodrum Peninsula. And then we have the Cretan Trough. That's a depression between Crete subject reaching a depth of about 2,000 meters, 2 kilometers. And then the most interesting feature of the North Aegean Sea is the Northern Aegean Trough, which reaches depth to about 1,500 meters, 1 1.5 kilometers. So what the official shake map is showing us that along the Hellenic Arc, and you see it here on the map, it displays a striking number of markers of moderate earthquakes like a string. And not all quakes, we have to say that, occurred precisely along this main fault zone. But if we consider the depth of these earthquakes and the epicenters of those that are located away from the Hellenic Trench, it's clear that some of them were also related to subduction or occurred on associated faults. And along this Hellenic Rift, which runs in an arc south of Crete, where we have the African and Eurasian continental plates subducting, it is reaching the Earth's mantle. And what's happening there? The crustal rocks are melting and they're being recycled, so to speak. The melt is then, the magma is rising north of that subduction zone where the volcanic arc of the Aegean Sea is located. Does that make sense? I think it does. So one of the most famous volcanoes that we have there is Santorini. And if you're watching my channel, you've probably seen there was a magma intrusion last February. 
But we also have the underwater volcano of Colombo that is showing some signs of unrest. It's located just a few miles northeast of Santorini. We've also had several earthquakes in the last 24 hours that have occurred at the Santorini Rift area where the underwater volcano is located. The strongest had a significant magnitude for that setting of 3.4 and at a depth of a little bit under 8 kilometers. So let's hope that these quakes are just the aftermath of that magmatic intrusion that happened in February, basically in the area between the underwater volcano Colombo. But it's not necessarily that there has to be a connection. These earthquakes could also occur independently along the faults in the region. But we have seen it rumbling in the last few weeks in the area where that massive earthquake swarm had been taken place in February, March um, at Santorini. So is there something new going on? Is that magma chamber underneath Santorini refilling again? Will we see another intrusion? Will we see more earthquakes, stronger earthquakes? Of course, the people of Santorini are worried, but also Crete. We've seen quite a few earthquakes along Crete recently. The seismic activity that we're seeing on Crete, thankfully, um, is because of its location near the Hellenic seismic arc. And of course, due to its proximity to the Santorini volcanic complex, it's rather that than volcanic activity on Crete itself. Crete has experienced significant earthquakes, including some linked to volcanic activity on Santorini, but Crete itself is not a volcanic island and it doesn't have active volcanoes on it. But for example, the Santorini eruption in the Bronze Age has significantly impacted Crete through tsunamis and of course earthquakes, which has contributed to the decline of the Minoan civilization. Just a few days ago, we had another 4.3, 4. Point something near Crete. So the authorities right now and what is reported in Europe right now, they're saying do not panic, but be aware. So experts are advising tourists in the area um, because these earthquakes are rattling Greece continuously. And we've had quite a few earthquakes in the magnitude 6 range near Crete. So experts are warning the tourists. They say you have to familiarize yourself with emergency guidance. This is great when you're on vacation, right? On May 22nd this year, for example, we had a magnitude 6.1 that struck off the coast of Crete. And just over a week after a similar undersea tremor near the island was felt as far as Egypt, it was widely felt. And then, of course, let's not forget the February earthquake swarm near Santorini that had declared the state of emergency with this unusual seismic activity, which they then found out was magma driven. When that 6.1 happened, by the way, in Crete, um, the authorities did issue a tsunami warning and it did cause damage to the buildings in the island's historic port. But the experts are saying there's no evidence that all the recent clusters of earthquakes do pose a significant safety risk right now. Authorities think there's no imminent large earthquakes, although there was one in 2021 that has ended one person in Crete. So it's impossible to predict what will happen. Greece has the highest seismic activity in Europe next to Turkey. So two countries with very high activity. And they hope that the big magnitudes with the catastrophic events, with the catastrophic tsunamis that have happened in the past will be rare. I will keep you updated, guys. Eddie's angry at me now. He wants me to stop and go for a walk with Eddie and Rudy. So I'll leave you at that. 
If you want to support the channel, check the links in the description. You can buy me a coffee and if you leave me a message, I will answer with a 30 second video message so we can chat with each other. Thank you for your supers. Click the join button if you want to become a supporting channel member for behind the scene videos. So thank you so much and I see you soon, hopefully. Bye bye.